We get asked a lot, what is the best anchor for my boat? Well, of course, we're in Kentucky, so it's going to vary depending on what lake you're in because we've got rivers that move. We've got lakes that are various depths. And so there's just different applications and also the type of boat that you have. And are you trying to anchor so when you go swimming, the boat doesn't end up on shore? Or are you trying to anchor so that when you wake up the next morning, your boat's still approximately where you parked it? So a lot of those things come into play. And one of the things that I always talk to folks, there's different types of anchors. We try to keep a great selection of them, whether it's the Navy anchor or the slip ring anchors or the fluke style anchors or mushroom anchors or river anchors. You know, there's just different types. One of the big things that we find that's important though is to add a chain onto your anchor. And so a chain is going to be, we like coated ones, but it's going to be a way to connect the rope to the anchor without having that rope go directly to the anchor. It's going to have a five foot section between it that will keep you from having an abrasive rock or tree that's going to cut through your line. But also that chain adds extra weight right at the anchor. So when you drop your anchor down, it's going to help it engage in the bottom because when you put your anchor down, you're not trying to make it touch the bottom only. You want to put it down so it touches the bottom and you let out usually three times the depth of water in rope. So in 30 feet of water, you'd need 90 feet of rope out. And that way, as the wind blows you, you're going to be over here, your anchor's over here, and it's going to actually engage the bottom. And that extra rope's going to keep it so that it's going to hold you in place. If you try to put it just enough rope down, for it to touch the bottom. As the wind blows, you're bobbing up and down and so is your anchor. So you need to get that anchor engaged properly with the bottom and that's what gives you a good hookup so you'll stay in place. And then when you're ready to release, you go back over to the anchor, sometimes motor over to it and pull it back up. If it doesn't want to come up, you may have to drive on the opposite side of where the wind blew you and pull it that direction because it's going to have engaged and pulled in from the side the wind was blowing towards. You have to disengage it from the opposite side. So those are some tips for anchoring. We do find it's important with Kentucky waters to typically go with a 150 foot section of rope. That way you've got enough rope that you can put out in 50 feet of water. You could sufficiently have enough rope out to anchor properly. And that ought to do a great job for you. If you have any questions, come see us. We'll help you pick out the right anchor for you and your boat and make sure that when you try to put it out, you're going to stay where you want to be.